Greetings and welcome everybody. Today I am in Casi OS. Here is the specs or some specs for it. It's using an LTS kernel version 6.1.55. And there's some other specs here. I'll leave it on the screen for two more seconds. And this Kashi OS is based on Arch Linux. And I just wanna say from the start that rolling release distros are great until they suck. <laughs> and what I mean by that is when they're working, it's amazing. You get the latest uh, updates, you get the latest software, and if you want, you all, you get the latest kernel, even though I'm using the LTS one. But um, yeah, you get the latest, latest and greatest support for your hardware and software. But there's a problem with these rolling release distros, and the problem is once in a while they break. Now, I've had a history of using Arch-based distros for over two years now. First, I was using Artix, and it was working great for a few months. I'm not sure exactly. I want to say three or four months. And then I did an update, and Steam broke on me. Steam wouldn't run. So luckily, I had a backup Arch distro. That was Garuda Linux. It was working fine. So I switched to Garuda Linux as my main daily driver. And that worked well for over nine months. And then one day after an update, it broke on me. And it broke hard. Like not like when I booted, it booted to a blank screen. I couldn't even go to a TTY to figure out what was the problem. So now Garuda comes with um, ButterFS uh, Assistant and Snapper tools. So you can revert it back to a previous backup or snapshot of when it was working properly, and that's what I did, but that annoyed me. So um, since it broke, I decided to try a new distribution, and once again, it was Arch-based, and that's what I'm using now, which is Cache OS. Now, Cache OS didn't have ButterFS Assistant or Snapper support out of the box, but I did install it. So um, after this one broke, roughly after six months of use, I did revert it back to a previous state where it was working. So uh, that's why it's working right now. But if I were to do an update, it would freeze on me again. And basically I'd boot up to a black screen, just like what happened in uh, Garuda Linux. So it's been about a month now. And uh, each time I try an update, it still fails. I thought it would be fixed after a month, but since I'm not getting updates or bug fixes, or anything like that. Basically, I'm on the lookout for something new. So if I go to DistroWatch, recently Guru Linux came out with a new ISO and I actually did try the KDE version, but the problem is it looks exactly the same as when I last tried it. And although it looks nice, I just wanted to try something new. I was thinking of going to back to Arctics as well, but I decided to just try something different. And my preference for rolling release distros is Arch base. I know um, there are some other ones like OpenSUSE has a rolling release version and there's some independent ones. Slackware, I'm not sure. I, I think it's rolling release, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into Slackware. So my default is still Arch-based distros. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what I've been trying out. Okay, so here it is. And this is called Archcraft. And it is based on Arched and it's basically a lightweight version of Arch Linux. So this is actually the live ISO and I'm recording using this built-in program here a screen recorder. It's just an item in the open box menu. There's no graphical interface for it, but I just hit this, record desktop with audio, and it's recording right now. And if I wanted to stop it, it would stop. I would press it here, press here to stop it. But uh, yeah, I'm using the live ISO to record uh, right now. And I've actually installed it already, but I didn't go through the install process. So I just booted up the live ISO for you guys to see. 
and um, there's no install icon here. So to install it, you have to go here and you have to click on install Archcraft and it'll launch the Calamari's installer, which is a very user-friendly installer, right? So I'm not going to go through it. It's um, I've done videos using the Calamari's installer before. And uh, like I said, it's quite user-friendly. So I'm not going to go through that today. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that it's pretty neat that it's got this built-in screen recorder um, menu entry here where I can record the desktop so I don't have to install anything. But uh, I'll be back and I'll go into the installed version.